Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lainey, this is Scooter. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for coming back to another day of Indie Week, the last day of Indie Week. I have to film, edit, and upload this video today. <laughs> but I am so excited to be bringing you a video all about my Divina eyeshadows, talking about the different formulas and collections, what I recommend, what I don't recommend. And let's just hop into it. Before we do that though, please remember to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video from me. All right, you guys, so how I'm gonna do this video is I have all my Divina shadows in this Adept Cosmetics palette. I have already done swatches the other night, so I will be popping them up. I'm just gonna go through the formulas and, um, and everything you need to know, my thoughts on them, what I would recommend, what I wouldn't, and um, just let you know my thoughts. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. First and foremost, I do want to say most Divina shadows perform really, really well with a NYX glitter glue. This is the glitter glue they recommend. Um, I highly recommend using this when you are using them because a lot of their formulations are very flaky formulas. So I would recommend using this. I actually didn't today. I'm wearing the shade Skyla on my eyelids. I just used a wet brush. Definitely looks more foiled and metallic when you use a glitter glue, but you can get away with using a wet brush. So let's just hop into the shadow. So one of my first, oh, this is gonna be such a hard palette to show. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold them like this. <laughs> One of the first eyeshadow formulas I tried from Davina is uh, most of this top row up here. This is their Sugar Drops formula. I have every one but two. I do want to pick up the last two just whenever they restock. And then this, oh my god, this palette is so hard to hold up. This shadow at the end, Moonlit, is a different formula, but I just stuck it in there because I needed a seventh shadow. Um, the So the Davina Sugar Drops collection is an iridescent collection. Um, it's really, really pretty. Um, definitely really great for either topping over shadows to transform them or, you know, maybe you're doing an all matte look and decide you want to go with a shimmer on the lid, topping it that way. Or how I primarily use them is as inner corner, oops, <laughs> or as inner corner topper. So as you can see, uh, Gumbles next to Moonlit on the end has a pan in it. A lot of these have dips. One thing I will say is if you don't want to be a collectionist like me, um, there are some similar shades, so there's a couple blue ones and a couple pink ones. They each have their own shift, so they are different, but if you don't think you want to have everything, you don't necessarily need everything. They are similar enough to where you'd get around the same effect on the lid. But I will say my favorite is uh, this Shuggies one up here, and then this one called Gumbles over here. I use them the most just because I wear a lot of yellow and green looks. I also like the shade Puffles because I do a lot of purple looks. So this is, those are the sugar drops. And then the shade Moonlit right here is the only one she has in this formulation right now. Please excuse my like chip nails. Uh, this is the only one she has in their formulation right now. And this is so incredibly sparkly and just gorgeous on the lid. It's I can't even comprehend how pretty it is. I can't wait for her to release more in this formula. I think she said she was. I think I watched her do a live, Deandra, the owner. And I think she said that they're coming out with more in this formula. And it is so beautiful and sparkly. And it's a really unique, like, a silver taupe. It's really pretty. Um, and definitely would, I think, add value to a lot of people's collections just because it is so unique. Next up on the second row is the Willy Wonka Exploders collection. So I picked this up around Black Friday and I got the whole collection. And so as you can see, this whole row, each of these are different. However, they're all pinks, purples, and blues. So you're not really getting a green. You're not really getting any depth. These are really light pastel shades. Each of them are their own shift. But like from my angle, these three blues on the end look exactly the same. But on screen, as you can see, they each have their own shift. So um, like this one is more like a blue and gold. This one's a little darker. That one has got a bit of a like a teal green shift these purples are really pretty i love the shade kazookles it has more of a gray shift while the other one is like a purple to pink shift the shade over here um pixie sticks that one's in my project uh pan those shadows that's like a pink to gold and then this one's like a pink to blue shift i think this is i don't remember marshmallow pillows i think so that collection it's really light and kind of flaky um, definitely you need a glitter glue or a wet brush to apply it, but they do go on smoothly. They can be a little chunky when you first pick them up, but they do go on smoothly and there's no problems there. Um, 
I would recommend this collection if you like pastels, if you like shifts. Again, you might not necessarily need all of them. They are different enough, I think, and as you can see in the screen, they all have their own shift. But if you don't think you wear blues a lot, maybe just pick your favorite one. Um, and yeah, if you like to go lighter on the lid, that's gonna be the collection for you. So if you like to go darker, I would recommend the Galaxy Dust Shades, which is going to be this row right here, as well as the first two on this second to last row. As you can see, I have a lot of dips from this collection, and these are really pretty, really shifty shadows for the most part. The only one I don't find shifts that much is this one right here, which is Centaurus. Uh, that's one of their, like, they did, like, a two edition one with that one in, um, Pegasus? No, it's not Pegasus. I don't remember which one it is, but this this collection is for you if you like really shifty, more darker shades. I'm wearing one today on my lids. It's the shade Skyla. Um, which I don't think is too dark, but it's definitely darker than the Willy Wonka Exploders collection. Out of this collection, I love all of them, but the shade right here, Asteria, like it looks red to me, but it's green to you. Like it's so pretty and shifty. I also like the shade here called Celesta. It's like a greeny gold. It's so pretty. Um, and then I recently picked up Messier and it is gorgeous as well. I used this, I basically did this look yesterday, but with Messier on the lid. And then, yeah. Um, I, I think this is a great collection. I think they're all, so they each have their own shift, but like see this shade and the shade that is Magellanic in, um, Magellanic and Cygnus. They're pretty similar. Like as you can see, uh, this one and this one, they're, they're really similar. So I don't think you need both. Um, Skyla and Starfire over here are similar, but they're definitely different, and I think you can see that, but Magellanic and Cygnus definitely are pretty similar to each other, so you don't necessarily need both of them. So that is the Galaxy Dust collection. Scooter's watching me again. He needs to learn to be independent and not whine. <laughs> so then the rest of the row on here, so Oh my god this palette why did i choose this palette <laughs> so excluding these two right here the rest on this row is the candy cakes collection which came out i think may last year which was my first being a purchase i picked that up as well as some of the sugar drops i think and the candy cakes collection is really pretty they're not necessarily shifty but they have a really nice sparkle to them and the good thing about this collection as well is every shade is different so if you did want to pick up that bundle um while you're not saving anything you are getting a variety of shades i love this pancake bubble shade as well as it's a neutral but this one right here sweetie sunbeam is a really pretty neutral it's like a brawny gold just beautiful shade um and Mystic Moon Pie as well, which is this one right here. I am on the struggle bus right now. Um, is also really pretty and unique. It's kind of like a plummy silvery shade. It's really, really pretty. Um, so I would recommend that shade, that this bundle. Um, if you're looking just for some special sparkly shades, they're not necessarily shifty. They definitely have a shift. Like this one has like a pink and blue shift, but it, it's not the most shiftiest collection that Davina has. They're just kind of really special shimmers. Oh, and I forgot to say this blue down here as well is from the pan or, uh, Candy Kicks collection as well, this blue right here. And it is actually pretty shifty. It's got like a blue to purple shift. Next up, we have their Star Chasers collection, which is this bottom row minus this one I'm covering up right here. This one came out on Black Friday. I was able to pick it up. I actually couldn't buy the bundle one because it was sold out, but I was able to like quickly add every shade to my cart and check out. Um... So this collection is really pretty as well. I think there are some really unique tones, not the shiftiest, but except for this link shade right here. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's one of my favorite shades. Also this um, lime green one is really pretty. I will say when you get down to the last three on this row, they're all different, um, but they do, they are pretty similar, especially, especially these two right here. They're pretty similar. So you don't necessarily need the whole bundle. Um, but they are all really pretty and a really nice formula. Pretty similar, honestly, to the Candy Cakes formula, I would have to say. Um, with the exception of Lynx being really shifty and just really, really beautiful. Um, I think it's another great collection, but maybe one where you can more so pick and choose what shades you want rather than getting the bundle. Um, because again, if you're not going to use those bluey green shades, then what's the point of getting the bundle, you know? So, um, that's another one where you could maybe just kind of pick and choose. And then finally... 
we have the multi-chrome. So this one's going to be a lot easier to show. So ignore the these bottom two rows. These are Terra Moons and a Cleona Shadow. This, these are all of their Aurora Flare collections with the exception of this one. This one is um, Pura Lucia or Lucia and this is from their Butterfly Kisses. I think Butterfly Kisses or B Butterfly Kaleidoscope collection. This one is a softer multi-chrome and not as dark of a base. I don't particularly like this one. It's just not my favorite formula. But then the rest of these, these are from their Aurora Flare collections. And these are unlike any other eyeshadow from Davina. These are a really, really silky soft formula that really just glides on the eye. Um, but they're really hard pressed. Like I would honestly, in the deck of panning, knock on wood, if I get the Joker one of these would be would count towards the joker because I do not want to have to pan one of these it will take forever I feel because they're so hard pressed but so pigmented I love these and there's definitely some similar ones you'll be able to tell the differences in the swatches some of these like these two look similar but they do different give different effects um and some of the blues look similar but they have different shifts um, I do think each one is unique and different. Do you need all of them? Probably not if you're not going to use all of them. I don't like this Australia shade. It's just not a multi-chrome type I like, but I bought the bundle and I'm, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'll give it one more try. It's the, the pink to like green shift. Um, I will give a shout out to Bad to the Brow. She has a whole video on multi-chrome pink comparisons to Cleona shades. So if you have Cleona shades, she does kind of, um, she does kind of compare them to these Aurora Flare collection shadows. So if you have Cleona ones, I would recommend that video to check out if you have any similar shades because there are similars. Like this one I know is really similar to Gargoyle, which I almost bought during their sale. Um, so I'm glad I didn't because I would prefer the, um, Davina formula. Um, I only have one true deep, multi-chrome from Cleona, which I think is pretty similar to this one. No, this one. I have Patina. This one's a little different, but it's pretty similar to Patina. Um, I would recommend this if you are US based and you want some multi-chromes and these are relatively affordable. I don't think coupon codes apply to them anymore. She had them, um, she, they were discounted on Black Friday and then when she released her two new ones, she allowed codes to apply. Um, so they are a little more expensive, um, but as for multi-chromes go, I think this is the best you can get in the U.S. Um, if you don't want to pay the uh, prices or the shipping fees for Cleona. So I would recommend these definitely if you're in Canada. I don't know if this would be cheaper for you to get multi-chromes, but they are really pretty. I will say this one right here, what is it? Exosphere. This one isn't as hard pressed as the others. It's not flaky by any means, but like I can see a difference in like the pressing. Like these are so smooth where this one is, um, I don't know. It's got a little more texture to it while the others still stay smooth. Um, I will say my swatching, I was like trying to show the shifts and I was just like completely getting my arm out of frame. So hopefully the, the swatches aren't too bad, but um, I will also, again, Bad to the Brow does great multi-chrome photography and videography so if you really want to see the shifts of these I would recommend going to batch the brow um she's like the queen of multi rooms um so I would recommend this collection I would say you don't need all of them but I would say pick and choose the ones that you want uh, unless you love Davina like me and you spend too much money on makeup <laughs> so that is my Davina collection I love my Davina shades. I will continue to buy them. They're kind of the exception to my low buy rules this year where they don't count if they're new. If they're new purchases, then they don't count to my low buy. I love Davina. I love supporting a small business. I love just, I love the uniqueness of her shadows. And I know she says she doesn't like to discontinue shadows. So there's also that. Um, I, I highly recommend them. I think they're great. Um, I think their prices are fair. You can always use, uh, aside from the Aurora Flare collection, you can always use uh, an influencer code, code. You can always use an influencer code on most of the shadows. Um, I always use Amy Loves Makeup, but there's a ton of influencer codes out there. 
um, I think Indie Makeup Spotlight, which is run by Amy, she has a whole list of indie discount codes. So you can just go in there and pick your favorite influencer and uh, that way they can get a little bit of affiliate commission. So um, yeah, this is my Davina collection. If you have any questions, let me know down below. I'm gonna set down my heavy palette that's really awkward to hold up, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful to you if you're looking to make a Davina purchase. I know right now they're pretty sold out just because they uh, really were wiped out on Black Friday and then they've done a couple of restocks, but it's for their more like high in demand collection. So if you are looking to purchase from Davina, sign up for their email newsletter, sign uh, like keep checking their Instagram to see when they are restocking. Also, if you want certain shades, sign up for in stock reminders. That's another great way because I know probably aside, you know, they might not always announce when they're restocking things, I think. Like, I think sometimes they'll just like, oh, we have the shade done, let's, let's put it out there. But their bigger collections, they usually announce. Their more popular collections, they usually announce. So I would do that if you are looking to make a purchase from Davina. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed watching Indie Week. It was really fun to kind of do this themed week. Um, it was a lot of fun for me and I had a lot of indie content that I wanted to make. So why not do it all in one video? It was a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.